Hi, and welcome to PCH TV. I'm Dylan. And I'm Huddy. The girls' basketball team plays in their district tournament tonight at 8 p.m. Deja takes a look at how the seniors have made a big impact over their four years. After coming off a state run last year, the girls' basketball seniors break down the game and how they're going to reach their goals for this season. My goal in basketball is not to just like grow as a player, but like to grow as a person. My goal for basketball this year is definitely go back to state and just make another good run with us since we're the seniors. With the varsity girls basketball team having a 10 and 9 record and the seniors going to state their junior year, they simply tell me how they improved from freshman to senior year. Freshman year to senior year, I have. I think my con confidence level has definitely changed the biggest. Freshman year, I was very, um, you know, timid and scared to, you know, let my light shine on the court. But then, as the years, you know, go on, I just got more confident and, you know, showing my skills more. Oh, well, you gain a lot of respect with girls basketball, and you just get a sense of confidence. Like it's, you have to be very confident. To me, basketball has been a way, has been one of my outlets to better myself. It's also showed me that um, women can work just as hard and be passionate about a sport as men are. Be humble, stay true to yourself, and don't leave the people who have always had you since day one. Basketball has been a huge part of these girls' lives on and off the court for four years. Do you get excited thinking about fall, new classes, and learning? Or do you prefer to count down until summer? Kareem and Maggie find out what you think is better, first or second semester. With 57 days left in the 2020 school year, the anticipation of summer is creeping in. With second semester in full swing, it got us wondering, what semester does PCH like more? Every student has their own preference to their schedule, but we were wondering which semester was the favorite. Uh, I like first semester because it's really exciting to meet new kids, um, but second semester has, um, I already know everybody pretty much, except for my, some of my seniors. So it's really fun to just kind of, you know them, and you can be a little looser in the classroom, and you know they know what to expect from you, and I know what to expect from them, and we can have a little bit more fun. I like second semester better because I'm like more set in my schedule, and like the end of year is coming, so I just get more excited. Um, I like second semester better because um, I'm a track runner, and that's when my season starts, so. Second semester is definitely a lot easier, like obviously because I am a senior and I'm going to be leaving earlier. Workload always changes, but does it depend on the semester? First semester I think is more work because um, we don't really have a lot of breaks or time to catch up, so it feels kind of like a, like a marathon, like we're just kind of constantly running. Um, second semester we get a little more uh, pauses throughout and we also have the possibility of snow days, so that's always you know kind of a nice gift. Definitely first semester because like you don't know like how your tests are gonna look because you have like different teachers. Um, as a freshman, you probably think your first semester has more work, but me being a junior, I kind of think both of them have the same amount. I think that the uh, the workload for second semester is definitely a lot easier, um, except for AP exams. In second semester, because teachers are more used to the schedule, we were wondering if that leads them to be more relaxed with their students. They know the like personalities of, like of like their students, so like they can like deal with like certain personality types in the classroom. I honestly feel the teachers stay the same and neutral throughout the whole semester. Some may be more stressed, like I said, depending on what grade you're in. Like they know where they're going to get with certain groups of um, teenagers. I'd say they are more relaxed in the second semester, just because like we have spring break and we like have a break in like in the middle of the the semester and like. And obviously it's like nearing towards summer, so I feel like they're a lot more chill. Each semester has something exciting to it, but what are PCH students' favorite parts? First semester I look forward to second semester. <laughs> Just being in different classrooms, really. Seeing how teachers do things differently. One thing I look forward to in each semester is kind of like the new people in my class. Like maybe like someone I haven't met before that I can like meet and learn, like make new friends and stuff like that. You've heard it here. It sounds like PCH students like second semester better. Personal style can be expressed in clothes, choices, hairstyles, or even accessories. Emma, Ellie, and Aditi talk to some students about how their unique accessories make them feel. We asked students about their favorite piercings, if it hurt, and how they got their inspiration. I got all my piercings because I saw most of them online 
and I really liked how they looked on other people, so I decided to get them when I turned 18. I have eight in one ear and three in the other. Uh, my favorite is this hoop, but the one um, that hurt the most is up here. I just think they're cool, honestly. They made me like really more confident in myself, and I'm just really happy with my piercings. I really like these. Um, they took a little bit to heal, and they were kind of annoying, but I'm really glad I got them. I think they're really cool. I believe I have 24, so about 15 on my ears, and I have a belly button, and I have an 8 on my face. I was in 8th grade, and all the cool kids had them. So that was my main reason. I like them, and I've just stuck with them. I didn't really have any pain, but it was just awkward. Like just having like something in your ear, you know, it was puffy for like two weeks. Imagine living away from home for a year. Now add that to living in a new home without your parents, surrounded by people who speak a different language than you. Guy, Jonathan, and Nelson talk to students among us who choose to take on this adventure. Parkway Central has gotten several foreign exchange students this year. Julian talks about why he decided to come to the U.S. Clearly someone from my family was in the exchange student like a few years ago in Canada and she talked to me about it and it talked to me about my parents and I just became an exchange student in America. Simon wanted to have the high school experience and Kimberly wanted to improve her English. I always wanted like, to see that American high school spirit and all the, like, the sports teams and clubs and stuff like that because we don't have that in Switzerland. I wanted to improve my English, but I also want to always go to America. Exchange student comes with new challenges. Julian and Simon say the biggest challenge for them was homesickness. I've been far from my family and my friends, so sometimes it's hard to be without them. So I can just be homesick for like a few days or just a few hours. Far the biggest challenge was probably homesickness because like kind of miss my family sometimes and yeah, but I'm gonna get over it. At first, Kimberly thought school was the biggest challenge and Georgia struggled with English. I think the biggest challenge was like the first school day, like to find the classes and people, like friends. I think the biggest challenge is English, but I think now it's really good, so it's not a big problem. Julian and Simon really like the sports here in America. Uh, I really like all the sports that we do and all the high school spirit and all the friends we can make and that stuff. The favorite thing about America is probably the sports here. I really like them, like they have more sports here than in my country and like sports we don't have here. I like that the people like really open and like a lot of like a lot of people like really funny and they just like crazy things and don't care what people think. Students all talk about the differences between school in the U.S. and school in their home country. In France, we don't have any activities at school. Like we don't have any clubs. We cannot play sports, and even the schedule is very different from here. Probably like in Switzerland, we have like a one to two hour lunch break, like. On every, during every every day and here it's like just 30 minutes and like you kind of locked up in the school in Switzerland that we can leave the school whenever we want or we don't have, when we don't have school. School is so much bigger and the teacher like more on like on the friendship base with you. Like in Germany you have to be like really like nice and stuff like this to teachers and you can't really ask them about like the first name or about family stuff because that's like not allowed has been Jonathan, Nelson, and Guy reporting to you from PCH TV. Even though it's March and temperatures are on the rise, seasonal illness like the flu isn't letting up. And now people are anxious about the possibility of the coronavirus. Dylan, Tegan, Max, and Adam talked to students and staff about how being sick affected them this year. This flu season has been severely worse than years prior. He interviewed students and faculty at Parkway Central High School about how it affected their lives and student life at school. Oh my God, there's so many kids. I've I just been noticing so many kids have been out sick with the flu. But you can tell you know, there's a, a dramatic difference of the number of students that's out sick. I see it every day sitting here at the front door, how many kids go out sick every day. Uh, being sick, it was pretty miserable the first day, being that I don't get sick often, so it's like, 
whatever, but I kind of just let my body fight it off, and the next couple of days I was feeling better. Principal Tim McCarthy had similar thoughts on this year's flu outbreak. So actually in uh, early February, um, I was sick, uh, went in for the uh, flu test, and I tested positive for influenza A. Um, and so I was actually out of school for uh, four days, um, which I had never uh, experienced uh, before. We asked people to weigh in about their thoughts on the flu vaccine. Nah, um, I don't really think I need the flu shot, being that my immune system's like a freight train. So it's like, yeah, I don't get sick that often. Last time I had the flu, I was like eight. Yes, my mother asked the same question when I told her I was sick. And the answer is yes, I did have, receive a flu shot earlier this year, um, actually here at school. While vaccine effectiveness may vary, a recent study shows that flu vaccination reduces the risk of flu illness by between 40% and 60% among the overall population during flu season. This has been Dylan, Max, Adam, and Tegan signing off for PCH TV. February is that time to celebrate accomplishments on the African Americans. Deja, Jalen, and Sanaya find out how Central contributed. Frederick Douglass, Rosa Parks, and many more are all names of men and women that have paved the way for civil rights throughout history. Parkway Central students talk about the importance of appreciating those who have fought for us and what Black History Month means to them. African American like celebrities and people who are famous, it was like a way that they're celebrated. The way that we're celebrating Black History Month this year with our students from AAA and ASAP is that we're going to do different activities in the building. Every day I do something different. Like the other day I watched a movie on the Civil Rights Movement. Black History Month means coming together. It means honoring our ancestors. To me, it means like celebrating like all the people in the past that like help us get to where we are right now, like our black culture. We're trying to acknowledge Black History Month um, and the power that comes with black people because we're magical um, and there's so many successes that we have, period. It's important because you help learn about the accomplishments that you may not know about of African American culture. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.